Nice. Nothing but arrows and darts in my collection. The archery's progressive. When I first used it, it was casual. Now I'm moving up to practical so you can be the target for a lesson. I don't think of you when I think of battle art, a set of legends. I think what's his face, possessed, dig, martyrs representing. I'll place psalms on your aged palms just as I read them. Bring your disciples. If they disciple, I swear to God they guard thee and angels are starting an intervention. And and T cries as I guide his partners up to heaven And meteorites leap from the sky causing palaver in your trenches What the fuck did you just say to that I said, stigmata, palms just as I read them Guardian angels, antichrist, lava in your trenches What I'm basically saying, he need the holy father to protect him This ain't wire and that's commencing, it's the start of Armageddon <laughs> feelings. Mm. <laughs> now Ur said we flipped off Cam, but I let him choose if he wanted to go first. And he was surprised as fuck, like what's up with that? I know, it's surprising like being in England and then suddenly meeting fucking Aspect One's bucket hat. <laughs> <laughs> now, they said he's directly from Sunny Bamboo's living room because he's into that crazy loving. <laughs> when he's alone and masturbate, he fantasizes about O'Shea raping Harry Baker's oven. <laughs> Ur's an asshole for making you battle the guy you've so blatantly copied, though. In my absence, you've done so well as the poor man's nils, they'll soon think of me as the rich man's oddmeal. <laughs> But I'm not going to make this out to be some teacher versus student shit. Because that would involve a cosign. I didn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> you just figured if you were even more nils than I am, then everyone would love your rhyme style. The problem is, I was already walking a fine line. <laughs> but even though copying someone like that is nothing I would do, I'm not going to diss him too hard for it, because you know, Got an English version of me, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been hard writing for me when pretending not to love my style is out of the question. Right, Nils, I hate how you're all calm and immovable and ridicule all your opponents without resorting to aggression. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> It's my style, don't worry about it. It's not my car. Doesn't make you a criminal. Just makes it really embarrassing that you just lecture Lego on being original. <laughs> Most people will steal something on the low, you know? Try to get away with it. What you've done is like walking into a jewelry store, starting to put on rings and chains and shit, and then just walk out like, I'm taking this! <laughs> <laughs> But I'll admit, I feel humbled every time you get a crazy win. 
Because most people never get to be so impactful as to have their style copied by an alien. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make some noise, let's go! Yo. <laughs> Thank you, Lord of Rap. <laughs> you heard my calls and that. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this match because I never thought I would clash someone whose name contains a forward slash. <laughs> Nilsum forward slash <laughs> Nilsum forward slash skills That's how it's officially wrote It has to be so He'll get mad as a goat if you don't add the stroke Bro, if you add a stroke <laughs> Like Sharon Stone with a gasket blown in the back of her skull You're losing all your skills on one side that leads after Andros is long <laughs> Or I'll take it back to when they let Eric Backer go No, back up yo, cause you just another Norwegian that couldn't hack it Now has to go home mm -hmm. Face it, I got them name flips You just got name drift <laughs> It's like Nils and his name on some breakup shit <laughs> There's a chasm in their relationship <laughs> And you're to blame for this Cause you went for a slash, you're taking the piss <laughs> <laughs> You may as well put it in HTML. Because <laughs> you're hiding behind a second language. You're ashamed of himself. Bro, take the L. Don't make excuses about English when you ask for it. Fuck Norwegian. I think you'd rather spit in JavaScript. <laughs> X minus one, open brackets. <laughs> <laughs> open brackets, captains love hip hop. <laughs> Insert tap on rebuttal, close brackets. I'm off that bar was sick. <laughs> you try and associate your name with skills, but that's a redundant link. Nils and forward slash skills, that page doesn't exist. <laughs> you should call yourself Nils. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got the address right. Right now your name's got the swagger of a government website. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Bar all else, at least your name's the closest thing to you being the URL. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this man has no rhythm. He just has algorithms <laughs> that tell him how to fit in in the land of the living and still he's got the mannerisms of a man considering massacring kittens. <laughs> Same with your rapping system, input variable sound outcome rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> but the outcomes ain't variable, they never sound different. Mm. You a computer control freak, but you ain't gonna control in leads. I shut this shit down. Control alt delete. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I hold all the keys so I can roam the street. I take it home in free. You can go home and freeze. Mm. Go ahead, make some noise. Let's go. Go, ahead, Bill. You said I'm a Norwegian dude who has to go home. There's nothing wrong with that, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I love Leeds, but I'm not moving to this city for fucking battle. <laughs> yes. I asked some girls outside what they think about Ogmios. They said, well, his face is kind of ugly, but his body's gross. <laughs> you think that if you perform your spoken word poetry over hip hop beats, then it's rap music. It's not. <laughs> if you want to gain some momentum for your songs, the very least you're going to have to do is get shot. <laughs> People look at him and think, whoa, that was a broken condom. <laughs> He's like, thank you, Lord of Rap. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, no problem. <laughs> Thank you.
that when Agmiel first came down to earth, he was considered a god, then a prophet, and later on a preacher. And as humans evolved, his status declined. Oh, now he's a school teacher. <laughs> I wonder what exactly went through your mind that day when the other Anunnaki left you behind. So you always bring up how you're an alien, like that makes you cooler. But when an alien has to teach PE class on Earth, you know he's a loser. <laughs> you come to Earth to work and practice your battle rap skills like a human living life as a janitor at an anthill. His family are making power moves all over the galaxy. He's like, yes, Mom. I'm still a regular employee on Earth, but I'm climbing the ranks of the local battle scene. <laughs> <laughs> you know that 20-year-old who hangs around kids because people his age will have nothing to do with him? That would be how the other aliens are viewing him at their reunions. <laughs> they always considered you a crazy fool, a lazy tool. But now you've got P.E. class, the one place where you make the rules. You blow that whistle and turn into Joseph Fritzl. <laughs> pushing them around, putting them down like I wish my space family could look at me now. <laughs> I pray that Og gets lynched by an angry mob. Fuck these aliens who come here and take our jobs! <laughs> They wanted us to battle, cause we're both a bit mellow. But I'm mellow, you're just well low. You're sad. You got one of them seasonal affective disorders. You ain't even seen the sun for about 17 orbits. <laughs> so you ain't laid back. These are the facts. I know how to chill and relax. You know how to wield an axe. <laughs> At weekends, he ain't clubbing with babes and hills, he's out on the beach clubbing baby seals. <laughs> this is a face that kills. <laughs> he's come visiting this land from the village of the damned. I'm having to visualize a brick wall, otherwise he'll be seeing all my plans. You look like a partially blinded Nazi scientist. <laughs> Who might be psychic, just a tiny bit. Like, he gets an inkling when his bus is coming. <laughs> it comes 10 minutes later, and he's like, that really was something. <laughs> no, bro. You are pure evil. You have let yourself down and all European people. Man, I'm chilled, not Nils. I should box Nils. I've been taking the piss out of his verse like pop shields. Ooh. 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 Wait, I'm the Zen master. So I'm the Zenist. They already done know. I bought GTA 5 just to play Zenist. That went better than expected. <laughs> you guys are very attentive. <laughs> Furthermore, I just bought it for PS4 because I heard there's more texture. <laughs> <laughs> so I can really enjoy the scenery while I'm taking long walks with Trevor. <laughs> I'd be admiring the architecture and reading the paper in restaurants while Trevor's outside insulting pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you struggle with simple tasks. <laughs> Something I've been wishing to ask. When you're staring at the floor, what are you looking for? <laughs> Secret door? <laughs> A way out, <laughs> an escape route. <laughs> but if I put you through the floor saying now, you the quiet man. But remember when you made a shout? That was your peak moment in battle rap. When you got all passionate. He said, I'm Saddam Hussein, 
We shake a virus brain and Osama's rage and the Vietnamese man's testicles. They said, that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> I said, wait, you're Saddam Hussein with Che Guevara's brain. What are you saying? You just look like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just say it. But what? That's your chosen vessel to lead us to the promised land. You are revolutionary now, you Russell Bland. Mm. <laughs> Ogmios that's gonna defeat the fascists. I'm gonna lead the masses from Leeds to Damascus via the Holy Vegan Passage. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that last bit. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's like he's back in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I think I'll snap and bring you back in the room. Mm. Back in the room. <laughs> I actually got hearing aids not too long ago. What the fuck are you screaming for? <laughs> uh, er, you told me you wouldn't let him know about the secret door. <laughs> I might have been a fan of Agnios if I was younger. But I'm Norwegian. If I hadn't been clubbing baby seals, I would die from hunger. <laughs> That's why we're not vegan. <laughs> you, however, are one of those prejudiced vegans who thinks he's won any argument in advance because he's more morally upstanding to begin with. So you can probably relate when we judge you from a distance as someone it would be boring as fuck to be friends with. <laughs> You've made veganism your image. Like I'm above you because of what I don't eat. <laughs> Conveniently failing to mention that your race of aliens can't digest meat. <laughs> you watch me sucking the marrow out of the bones all disgusted like I could never. Like you, sucking the life force directly out of human souls is that much better. <laughs> yeah. oh, but seriously, if you think eating meat is selfish, why would you eat something that's even more defenseless? Yeah. <laughs> is it because vegetables aren't conscious? <laughs> How do you decide? No one knows how humans are conscious and carrots are made from the same particles as you and I. <laughs> and you told Real Deal he was holographic. You probably thought that was a raw bar. But when you study your mysticism for a few more years, you'll realize that we all are. In fact, we're both the creator and the creation simultaneously staring back at one another. Uh, wow. But if you bring those kind of topics up in the ring, we'll just end up feeling like, why the fuck are we battling each other? <laughs> See, most people go to rap battles to catch some entertainment and some hot bars. Not to have a PE teacher trying to school them on aliens and chakras. <laughs> I know about aliens and chakras too. It's interesting stuff. I simply adjust and refrain from bringing it up because I already come across pretentious enough. <laughs> I can tell what you want from your life. It's not very hard. You have a dream that one day you can make a living giving seminars. <laughs> you ramble big words and random esoteric references and deliver it like it's a haiku. Yet another great way to make stupid people feel really smart when they like you. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Mm. Yo, no plants are getting damaged under my watch. <laughs> I just stand under a tree like this and wait for an apple to drop. <laughs> <laughs> the dreams came true. I done a rebuttal too. <laughs> no trouble either. 
might do another one in June. <laughs> I learned Norwegian just to research this credit. Now I deeply regret it. It's murky the flip in my crust. It's murky roots make a list. This guy sounds exactly the same. And I can authoritatively tell you that your content doesn't change. But I did learn one amazing bit of knowledge. Your first crew was called Raisin in the Sausage. <laughs> Raisin in the Sausage. <laughs> Bruv, you are way in the closet. <laughs> it's a national saying, so the whole of Norway is suspect. <laughs> Raisin in the Sausage. <laughs> it's supposed to be a saying that it's the greatest part of an experience. These fools find a Raisin in the Sausage and go delirious. <laughs> Bro, if you don't love a raisin in the sausage, it's considered unpatriotic. <laughs> Once a week, his wife is like, baby, are you on it? Neil said, well, there is a raisin in the sausage. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Anyway, I want to change the topic. <laughs> Fuck the Norse gods. They're all soft. Four is a knob. <laughs> we got our own magic hammer with the guys called Bob. They can all piss off. Your body's frig off, you can frig off. <laughs> they got a god called Boulder. The god, the god of innocence and peace. That's brilliant. He ain't bolder than me. <laughs> Neil's personal god is called Kavasi. So I had to look it up, of course. It's a Kavasi, god of inspiration. Killed by dwarves. <laughs> Killed by dwarves. What an inspiration. Sounds more like a victim statement. <laughs> How many dwarves? <laughs> Was it a horde? <laughs> Must have been at least a few. I looked it up too. It was two! <laughs> oh, fuck with them Norse squads! <laughs> Unless you're a couple of dwarf yobs. <laughs> you better watch out, bro. I've got bare dwarves in my squad. <laughs> They'll cut you down to size just to rep for Og. Sneak up behind you, leave your legs sawn off so we can truly see how we kneels before God. Mm. <laughs> the last battle, what happened there? Pat Stay picked you up and held you in the air. You must have been very scared. He's gigantic. At first he had a look of slight panic, but then as he rose it became quite magic. It was like Pat was Jack and you were rose in tight <laughs> You were at the front of the boat like a true Viking. <laughs> you were on a hype team, your wings let you think you were flying. Shit. How are you going to let a man pick you up in the air? <laughs> Flick your ears. <laughs> Tap your lenses. <laughs> this man is defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I don't want to lift you up. I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> oh. yeah. Wait. Maybe I can lift him up. Give me the power of ten past days. 